I'm exhausted. I just spent way too much time in that cave. Time to rest in this nice, spacious collector's case. Hey, where's my spot? Sorry, Steve. The inn is full. You'll have to find somewhere else. Well, that's not fair. It's me, Steve. Let me in. Uh, uh, uh. That wasn't very smart, Steve. Oh, no. Minifigure avalanche. Ah! On the table, a Minecraft minifigure collector case version 2, a netherworld case, including six minifigures. On the back of the package, a quick image of what the inside of this collector case looks like. It looks to be pretty much the same as the original collector case with some slight modifications. They also have listed all six series on the back here for your collecting convenience. Outside of the box, we have the collector case looking to be very deep red orange. It's kind of a trippy color. It changes on me a little bit. Probably should get my eyes checked. This is pretty much the same thing we saw before from the last collector case, only a different color of plastic. But that is fine because the original collector case was so awesome. And now with six series of minifigures, we really need some extra storage space. I was very impressed with the original collector case, and I think having another one will be really nice. If you recall, each collector case has an opening side, and that might be my only nitpick, as sometimes these panels open up when you do not want them to. They don't snap in as tight as you would like. I've had many a time when a lot of minifigures went flying. But it's such a pretty door! We have nice looking imprinted blocks on there for a nice texture. And we have 16 bays per side to fit 32 minifigures, although you can easily double up or triple up in some cases, holding many more figures than that. These little cards pop out and are used for making it look pretty in the box, by the way. And you can keep these and use them for other Minecrafty bowl things. Opening up your case isn't too hard. We've got a solid locking mechanism on one of the sides. Flip up like so. And open your netherworld. And these make for great little play sets. And at this point you can see the clear difference between the two display cases. We have a portal installed. If you look at the original display case, there is kind of a portal there. They just didn't add the nice little wavy portal part inside here, this purple part piece. It looks like they used some sort of trickery by adding maybe another little small layer of plastic to form the rest of this portal, as it's just slightly different than the first display case, but a nice little feature. It doesn't look like there are any other painted details throughout. The first display case had various elements and things pointed out. Perhaps the portal took away the budget for adding other details in the nether world. And you can always store more figures inside this middle of the display case. They will just bounce around inside. Let's see, what should I store inside this time? Finally a spot for my golden micro machines. These miniature Nintendo figures are easy to lose. I don't get to play enough with these Star Wars battle pods anymore. And these brightly colored spaceships have a perfect spot inside too. Oh dear. And if you were curious how the zombie pigman in its portal appeared to the portal on the collector's case, a lot smaller. You probably fit. No, never mind. Now might be a good time to take a lengthy audit and divide my series 1, 2, 3 with series 4, 5, and 6 minifigures into the two minifigure cases. That'll probably take a few years though. There are a ton of minifigures nowadays. Speaking of many minifigures, let's take a look at these six included figures. 
This looks like a pretty good assortment if you are new to the Minecraft minifigure world. We have both a Steve with diamond armor and a Alex with enchanted armor. We have a magma cube, which is kind of funny because I think this was boxed with the stone series uh, three packs and I had not opened yet. So now I have one on the loose. A zombie pigman, a wither skeleton, one of the most hardest figures to stand, and a blaze. These should give you plenty of adventure in your netherworld case. <laughs> oh, those silly magma cubes. These Minecraft minifigure collector cases are pretty much a necessity if you collect more than, say, 15 minifigures. They're really handy in keeping everything in order. And if you're crazy and collect most of the whole series, two collector cases should keep things pretty well organized. The second Minecraft minifigure collector case netherworld environment appears on store shelves summer 2016 for around $35 to $40. Amazon.com was my method of madness this time. This is a fun set to play with, especially with that little added portal. Just be careful, if you place a bunch of minifigures inside, they might go through the portal and disappear when you reopen. That would not be good. That's what I have to say about that. Oh great, I can only imagine the chaos when those minifigures reappear someday. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Landry, get out here! What is it, my leash? Will you please organize all those minifigures into these collector's cases? I don't think so. Oh, man.